and Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Disappeared. <laughs> Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 286, NASDAQ off 122, S&P's down 37. That's a drop of 1.5% in the NASDAQ, 1.3 in the S&P's and 1.1 in the Dow Industrials. When we take a look at the, uh, let's go to the Dow first because bottom line from where we were to where we closed, not a big deal. Um, you know, the Dow had hit a low out here, 25,328. Uh, bottom line, like $140 off that low. That being said, guess what? Let's go over to the SPY and we take a look at the SPY. This is building cause, folks, to blow away the B point of an ABC structure on the way down. What we did out here, you go south, you have an expansion of volume. We did 88 million. Now you're coming into 127 million. You didn't hit the B point. Uh, we're going to go after it. Yeah. Why am I saying we're going to go after it? Well, if you go take a look at the SMH, it started this thing down. That blew away its B point last week. Had price, had volume, all, all of the above. Took it out and took it out in spades. XLE did it today in a huge, huge way. XLE down $2.13. Did 23 million shares, blowing away a B point of 14 million. XLE's heading for this uh, December low, which is the 53 to 57 mark. And right now, you are at 61. Now, it seems like a lot, but guess what? Two weeks ago, folks, we were at 68. And if we go take a look at the oil contract, what you're going to see, this contract just blew apart today in a big way. Down $3.29, over a million contracts traded. And so in three weeks... You know, we're down off $66 to 58 The low that's going to go after is 48 to 44 The correlation between the oil market, folks, and the S&P is about a week. Oil has been leading the market up and down for quite some time, and it's about a week. So I expect, uh, I don't expect that to change. Notes and bonds are also related to the aspect that, guess what? We uh, have lower Rates coming at us, higher price inside the bond structure. In both cases today, they not only took out their highs, they took them out with conviction. What conviction is, is wide price spread, accelerated volume. We did almost 3 million contracts today inside of the 10-year. We blew away the swing point of 124.31. They're at 125.01 in the 10-year. And if we get over and take a look at the 30-year, same type of setup inside the 30-year. 30 30-year, 30 huge volume, 510, 513,000 contracts. You went up a full point plus 12 ticks. The B point that it was going after had volume of 471,000 contracts. We did 513. The correlation, of course, uh, right now you're at 2.3 on the 10-year. And if we do go look at this 10-year, uh, it's quite clear when we take a look at this technically that it wants to run to two. The reason I'm saying why it's reasonable right now, because you blew away the swing point for March. The swing point for March was 2.384. We're at 2.30 right now. Next layer down is 2.01. And, hey, it's, it's game down to that, that, down to that level. That's, that's it. And good old King Dollar. King Dollar failed on price, failed on volume, and it's high. Uh, I've been trying to get up there for a huge amount of time. Made it. Blasted over it. Intraday. And when it blasted over it, folks, you can see that there's no orders. And that's what that blast over, my take is that what happens is that when you're an operator in an equity, high, either highs or lows, they're fishing. And, you know, these big funds, they have plenty of money. They can push, push, push. They wanted to see if there were any more orders up there. There were no more orders, so that, guess what? Sell it away. King Dollar got to a price point of 98,260. It was 98,085. That's what it was going after. Failed. Now 94 is game. 94 right down the other side. 
that the we were at on the January 10th time frame. Uh, when you do put that together with the aspect of how gold as well as silver took off. And they took off, folks. So silver is the lag in the metals market in a huge way, too, not in a small way. Uh, gold got the bid. We'll see whether we can get some follow through on it. Silver still needs a big bid. Uh, it rejected lower price. It, it did catch a bid. And, and what was intriguing in both cases, folks, when you take a look at this, they, these caught the bid at the open of the pit. And what, what tends to happen is this. The gold and silver, they, they trade really almost 24 hours a day, excluding when we close tomorrow at 4 o'clock until Sunday night at 6 o'clock, because what ends up happening, we're the last ones that are open. Asia and Australia, the first ones that open on Sunday, which is their Monday. Um, outside of that, the pit trading is important when you see some orders. They, they can destroy the market or they can bring the market up. What they decided to do out here today is to bring the market higher. And that was before you really got a downdraft, a monster downdraft going. So that was, that was very intriguing in itself of how that played out. We go over to the small caps. The small caps broke its B point. Um, didn't have enough volume. We had big volume come in at the close. You needed 26.9 million. We did 25.5. Bottom line, it's going lower. It broke the consolidation that it has been in since the uh, February time frame, and I suspect uh, you're going to get lower price tomorrow. We'll get under the default 148 area, and as soon as you get underneath the 148 area inside of the IWM, that puts game down to the December 24th lows. Uh, larger case out here, folks. I suspect that what we have out here, you get a monster consolidation, and we're going to be in this consolidation for quite some time. The top of the consolidation on the S&P is 2,900. The bottom of it is 2,346. Guess what? That's 22% off the highs. That's the market we're in right now. Some of the uh, other high of uh, Apple. Let's go to Apple. Apple's not going to help the NDX 100. Uh, Apple... Down 320 today, you're trading 179. Apple wants to run down to 142. Big numbers. No two ways about that. Uh, volume, uh, let's see. I believe we got volume expansion also out here. Oh, big time, too. You get 920 million. Uh, we did 715 yesterday inside the NYSE. You go into the composite, and we did 2.2. Yeah. See ya. Don't want to be up. Stay right there, folks. Got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. Growling a problem with us. Come right back.